Hi, sir. My name is Tu Siqi, and I will be presenting my self-control report vlog for intercultural communication. Class, right to begin, my name is Tu Siqi. I'm Chinese and grew up in China. My ethnicity is Han Chinese, which is the main ethnic group in China. Since ancient times, the Han Chinese have adopted and elected to the toward various religious beliefs which some of them practice Buddhism and uh, Taoism, as well as Buddhism, Christianity, and uh, Catholicism. But my family does not uh, believe any kind of religion, although I don't follow any one religion. I'm uh, influenced by some. Next up, a little bit about how my gender and the class define me. Gender and the class also have a bigger impact on me. My gender is female. And in most people's eyes, they would think that girls would be in more danger than boys because girls are weaker in terms of physical strength and self protection My mom would tell me to be safe out there whenever I was going to go out of calm because she always felt that I wasn't that self out there on my own as a girl. Men and women often have different social positions in society, which might be in a more autonomous position, and women often in a passive position. At this time, men have more opportunity to enjoy life, while women have more choice and responsibility. I very dislike this difference. As women in a new era, we will pay more attention to our own develop and release the value of our life instead of being bound by household choice. My class also impressed me. My family was a middle class family. I went to public school for my elementary, middle and high school. Most of public school focus more on student grades and concentrate on academic and do not focus on developing the student's happiness and the and the interesting. So my personal hobby did not develop. Additionally, there are many rituals in my childhood memories that help me define myself. There are many rituals and festivals in China, such as the Jungle Boat Festival, Spring Festival, and the London Festival. Every festival has its own rituals, which are different and symbolize different meaning. The most vivid memory in my childhood is the Spring Festival. Every year when Chinese Union comes along, the atmosphere becomes especially lively. A few days before the Chinese Union family will do a big cleaning at home to welcome the New Year. People will also go shopping for New Year's goods, such as melon seeds, peanuts, and various snacks, as well as the indispensable Supreme Festival tablets. After shopping for New Year's goods, it is almost time for New Year's Eve. All New Year Eve families put on new spring clothes and spend the afternoon preparing the New Year's Eve dinner. They are also fire gratitude before the New Year Eve dinner. After the New Year Eve dinner is my favorite time. After the New Year Eve dinner, adults will give rag packets to the children. And then children can take the money to buy fireworks to set off. On the night of New Year Eve, we will also set off super big fireworks. Hope that the New Year will be better and better. Then we will also watch the Spring Festival Gala and keep the New Year Eve together as a family. The rituals of the Middle Autumn festivals are also planted deep in my childhood memories. On Mid Autumn Day, we eat more takes and uh, plumbers. Mid Autumn Festival is also a time for family reunion. These rituals of traditional Chinese festivals have deeply affected me, give me a deeper understanding of Chinese culture and uh, strength in my culture self confident. These rituals have helped me define myself. Moreover, my personal cultural profile affects my relationship with culture of my home country. 
For example, Elm participated in the Cultural Festival of the National Day last year. In my hometown, a flag races memorial will be held in Bali Square on the National Day. By participating in Cultural Festival, I have improved my cultural quality and the sense of cultural identity. At the same time, don't miss study the unique charm and profound foundation of my motherland's culture. Finally, my personal cultural background affects my informal communication with friends and family. In the process of communication with my family, there is often no verbal communication. For example, we can know what the another scent wants to do and what the another scent's mood is from the another scent's eyes and experience. And that is all for my vlog on intercultural communication. Thank you for watching.